third shot to finally get that win? It means everything, you know, like you said, third shot, you know, it's kind of got tired of losing these guys. Um, obviously, they're a really, really good football team. I mean, and then I made it a little bit interesting at the end or whatever, but, you know, they're a really, really good football team. I think Coach Kiffin does a tremendous job uh, with their team and how they play and how they prepare. Um, but, you know, like you said, being an in-state kid and um, being able to get this win, it means everything. <clears throat> Take us through that, that play on the goal. Huh. Well, so the first play, they, they really crashed down. That in, that guy came off the edge really, really hard, and he kind of got the backside of Dylan and pulled him out. So I told Dylan, I'm going to read this. And, you know, they just peeled and or they just scraped with it. So that guy came down. I pulled it. Linebacker came over the top, and I, just, I was trying to make a play to get in. And, you know, I got to do a better job of protecting the football. You know, you see Rob Rod Thomas wide open <clears throat> down the sideline. Kind of run me through what's the kind of instant reaction to seeing him that open. Yeah, I, was, I told Rob Rod. The, the next time they go, man, I'm going to give you a shot. Um, you know, I could tell that corner was down. You know, I, had him, I saw him out of the corner of my eye. You know, I knew the play we had on. I saw that corner kind of down, and I knew that if that safety didn't go over the top, then I was going to give my guy a chance. And I think they busted. You know, I don't know if they were in cover two or what, but, you know, thankfully I saw him and, you know, I let it fly. I guess, you know, this is the final game of the regular season. You know, a lot of highs and lows in the season. What's it like to, you know, have this be the – Final game of the regular season, have that type of celebration. And what's the what's the locker room like? Mike said it was kind of like a fire in there. Yeah, no, everybody's kind of excited. You know, it's it's huge to huge to go out like this. Um, <clears throat> I don't think a lot of people understand that. You know, we've had three top ten losses. You know, the three out of four top ten losses. You know, we're we're a team that's uh, won some big games, and you know, this was a huge game for us. You know, Ole Miss, like I said, Ole Miss is a great team. They were ranked in the top ten earlier. Uh, but, you know, like, like like I said, to be able to go out with a win against these guys, um, you know, have a chance to win nine games, it's huge. Joel, you know, what to say about this team, man? I, you know, you talk about there's a goal line. I mean, the defense picks you up there with two points. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> at the end of the first half, you lead the drive, you know, down the field. It's kind of after they have scored. So you all kind of pick each other up all night long. Yeah. This team, how y'all always think, have a knack I mean, I think we're just a group that loves playing together. And, you know, we've got several old guys that – you know, this is their third egg ball. You know, this is their third go round against these guys. Um, and then you mentioned the drive before half. I think that was the, our best, our biggest drive, probably since I've been here, man. You know, um, I can't remember what happened, but they were up. They they scored to go up like 16 to seven or something maybe. And you could just kind of feel the momentum start to go their way. Um, but thankfully, we were able to put a drive together, um, get some easy completions, and then hit the big play down there on the goal line to two. So. Um, you know, it's a credit to all my receivers, first of all, man. And um, the offensive line was tremendous. Um, can't say enough about them. A couple of those sacks were on my fault. Those wide end rushers, I need to step up in the pocket a little better. But, um, you know, it feels, feels good to get this one. Will, last week when we talked to you after the East Tennessee State game, you said that this is anybody's game. It doesn't matter how high lead ranks they are. How are you guys able to clear your heads coming into this game to really approach that mindset? I mean, just kind of play our <clears throat> kind of play our game, you know. And, you know, like I said, we're a team that has three top ten losses against some really good football teams. Um, so you know, it wasn't anything we needed to do special or anything like that. But you know, just come in here, do our job, and get the win. Well, I know there's got to be some of that before this you and uh, Mingo. What's that? What is that next conversation going to be like? Probably just talk. <clears throat> probably just talk about the game and. You know, what we did, what they did, and, you know, I know he's going to be preparing for the uh, senior bowl and things like that. Um, <clears throat> but, I mean, it's, I thought he played really well. I mean, I know there was a play where he caught it like three yards and ended up getting like 15 yards carrying people. But um, you know, I can't say enough about him. Uh, you know, he's been, a, he's been a friend for a really long time, and he will be for the rest of my life. So um, I think he'll do really, really well at the next level. Oh, last point, Grace. You mentioned Albert. Uh, Albert, talk about the job that uh, Albert, Albert is yeah. that kind of situation. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> to, throw, to throw a guy like that that hasn't played as much over the past two years in the biggest game of the year, um, you know, it says a lot about him. He was, he was a little, I don't want to say rattled, maybe to start off a little bit, but, you know, once he settled in, and I told him at halftime, you know, just push push that guy wide. I'm going to step up in the pocket and make a play. So I thought he did a really, really good job for us. <clears throat> Can you hear your emotions when that clock runs out and you find a voice cycle today, especially on Ole Miss's turf? Yeah, I know. It's, it's 
probably my probably my favorite win as of as of date. So um, you know I'll remember this one for the rest of my life. It feels good, but um, you know I'll enjoy it for I guess a week or so, and then we'll find out who we're playing in the bowl game.